I don't care if it's vanilla or chocolate at this point. I just want to try one and the chocolate sounds like it's really good. So that's good. One of the things that we're trying to stick with this month is trying to stick with a budget as well as just try not to run 50 million trips to the grocery store because there's just so much to do these days and I found that we were running there all the time and it's harder to keep track of how much you're spending if you keep finding yourself at the grocery store. So that Technically, we were supposed to be at church, but we got up and we just couldn't make it out the door on time. So we tried to do church in here while we were driving and we listened to worship, but we couldn't do the rest because it was just too loud. So we're going to have to do that at, at home. That way we can actually hear the message. But we just stopped by Costco because we came by here yesterday. It was not open because it was Canada Day and we remembered but then forgot. And when we came out here, it was empty. Nothing was, no one was here. Parking lot dry. So, <laughs> we are in need of some stuff. If you saw the last grocery haul, if you guys would have heard us say that we were, um, things were just busy for a little bit and we weren't shopping as much. And so our fridge was dry and we stocked up a little bit and things, um, yeah, our fridge was a little bit more on the empty side because we were eating out a bit more, but we're trying to, get back to reality and cook at home more now that activities are dying down too and school's coming to an end and we have all the time we have a lot more time on our hands now we are getting back to the basics of grocery shopping regularly and cooking at home so anyways i'm going to take you guys along with me to do a little shopping with me today and see what's new here and also um i guess kind of show you what we got so it's been a minute since I did one of these videos, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to give today's video a like it. And uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the things that I show you today. I'm thinking today is going to be a bigger haul. And I'm thinking I only... I, I miss the days when I used to try to grocery shop once a month. And when I say grocery shop once a month, it, it meant that I did one giant shop once a month. But then we did still end up having to pick up things in between things because we just there's just not enough space I don't have three freezers or three fridges. I only have one giant fridge and an extra freezer in the garage So I can only do so much so there are certain things that we have to pick up including also um perishables like produce and stuff like that in between so Yeah, I'm gonna have to we always have to do that. So I'm, I, I don't know if I can do that today I'm only gonna strive to do it the best I can then I'll let you know what, where I wind up when we're done because it's been a minute since I've grocery shopped for one month so I don't I don't know if it's gonna really work. just coming through the door I'm noticing that they have they have this 28 piece storage container they look so cute I'd be getting one of these if I didn't have a bunch at home but I gotta work with what I have already but they look really good and babes babes is looking at a faucet we've replaced our kitchen faucet already and now he's looking to replace it because it's already giving wear after two years what in the world but anyways these are looking cute charlotte zoe zoe what's on your list to get here Ooh. <laughs> they have these shakes guys these are the Fair Life Protein um, Shakes, 30 grams of protein, $37.99. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me. I was talking to my girlfriend who actually, she has those and she said that they're really good so I want to give it a try. And the price seems right because when I looked online it was a lot more. I don't care if it's vanilla or chocolate at this point, I just want to try one and the chocolate sounds like it's really good so that's good. Oh, it's so busy in here. So, What's so busy. I really want to get some pistachios. I'm really debating. They are $20.99 for this bag. It's a pretty good price because they're actually expensive. But they have salt in it. I prefer them to not have salt. It's $20 for a bag. Huh? I said that's a whole full. The press. <laughs> When your kids realize the prices of things. 
I can't. That's Real life, sad. right? Canadian money. <laughs> They have these fig bars, which we used to buy a lot of. Do you guys want any of these? Oh, yeah. We used to get these. They have 80 milligrams of sodium. Not a, not that much, it's pretty good. I saw these trail mix for, you know, everyone has a sweet tooth every now and again. It's hard to say, it's hard to deny, like picking up stuff like this. But this does contain healthy stuff as well. The only dilemma that we were saying is that people are gonna pick out the M&Ms and leave all of the other stuff behind. Oh, they also come in the snack packs, but I think you're probably gonna get a better deal here. Aaron? Yeah. Do you want them or not really? You guys yeah. are gonna not eat try. them? Let's try them. You guys want me to pick up the <laughs> Okay, minutes. change of plans. I think we're just gonna buy the ingredients and kind of make our own little packages at home because you're gonna get more. If we buy each individual things, you're gonna get more of all of them and then we can make our own little pouches at home for everyone and I can buy on salted ingredients where that means it has no salt <laughs> or low salt. What is it? Nice. Oh yeah, those look good. How much? 30. Per per we found these almonds guys. If you guys are into chocolate covered almonds, these are so so good. We kind of vowed to not really buy them because we, just eat, too many. we eat way too many. Way too many. Anyways, um, we're trying to decide what we want to create our trail mix. Oh my lord. Guys, as if it's not crowded enough, this is happening in the middle of our experience. Strange. Okay. So they have these white down duck duvet. 149 for a king size. This is what we would need for our bed. It's actually not a bad price, but wasn't planning on picking that up today but this is this is here not sure if it's new I haven't been in here in a minute my husband's been the one coming here but it's oh wow it's like our, our, um, our last that's just the top oh that's the topper oh yeah that's so cool this looks pretty cool this tempur mattress topper we've had a tempur mattress and we really really like it it was actually really comfy but then we upgraded to a king and this one is not doing the, the trick. So we've actually purchased like a foam topper that goes on top and it, it's okay, but it's still, <laughs> it still needs some improving. So this could be an alternative for us for sure. Mm -hmm. Three inches. Oh wow, I wonder if it moves. Does it move like the, the, the bed? I don't think so. Oh wow. Oh, we should take a picture of that. That's something to think about for sure. And that's two sixty nine for the king, which is not bad. The one that we purchased, how much was that one? It was like two hundred. It was like literally about the same price, actually. And and it's just foam. So this one will, this one should be better because we're actually familiar with the mattress itself, the brand and the type of mattress they make. And I actually really liked it. When I had some good sleep on that mattress. We're in the book section as per usual. Our whole family loves to hang out here. Our section has dwindled down for some reason. I don't know what happened, right? Yeah, it's sad. It's a little different, but you know, we're very grateful that there's still lots of books here. So the kids have already swapped out. We got yeah. Zoe now sitting in here because it's easier to keep track of her. And Zavi's hanging out with his sisters and in the car just reading books. It is literally mayhem in here right now. This is a big part of why sometimes I kind of stay away and have hubby come in here instead. But um, it's hard to vlog in here too because we're just trying to navigate. It's crazy. We just bought one of these contraptions in the backyard for the kids, but we bought a smaller one. Thank God. This one is huge. I think I'd be worried, but I think it's obviously for bigger kids. And they've got tents. We bought this one last year for our family, guys. When we go camping, this is going to be the tent we're going to use. It has a lot of room to fit our large family of seven, so very excited about that. <laughs> 720. What is it? $780 later? Something like that? Yeah. Okay. I was so close. I guess $767. Mm -mm. So guys, $763 later and all these groceries, all these groceries are here. We're basically trying to unpack everything and so I can do a quick little grocery haul because this is going to be quite a big haul. And there's going to be some resetting that has to take place as well because I'm restocking my pantry. My pantry is kind of running low. 
there was a point in time where I was really stocked up and now I don't have much uh, um, going on down there. So I definitely have to kind of stock up a little bit down there. I just realized I forgot the pasta. I forgot the pasta. Yeah, I don't know. We, we, with I think we're okay right now with $765 worth of groceries, but I'm gonna go ahead and set this up real quick and then I'm gonna do a grocery haul separate because this video is gonna be probably way too long so we did pick up some things today that were a little that were not grocery related but most of everything that we got was grocery related costco was just so busy today oh my gosh when we were going through i tried to film but i kept having to move to the part that one point there was a guy pushing a thing trying to like clean the floors i'm like this is just not the time but anyways that still happened um and then my bat my battery died so i only got to film so much for you guys but there were quite a few new things today we we ended up leaving and not getting the duvet the duvet was a big one that we actually want to get or no the the topper we didn't get the duvet or the topper the duvet is a big one that we actually want to get because we've had a duvet but we actually gave that one to our daughter because it was for a queen size bed and now we have a king so that is a large ticket item that we want to pick up and we also didn't get the topper that foam topper looked really really good and we love that mattress so i think that's definitely in the works to get just didn't it was not in the budget for today so one of the things that we're trying to stick with this month is trying to stick with a budget as well as just try not to run 50 million trips to the grocery store because there's just so much to do these days and I found that we were running there all the time and it's harder to keep track of how much you're spending if you keep finding yourself at the grocery store. So that is one of our biggest struggle. Yeah. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pack out these groceries real quick and then I'm going to be doing a haul. So be on the lookout for our grocery haul. I hope you guys didn't mind coming um, grocery shopping with us today and just spending the day with our family. So be on the lookout for our haul. It's going to be a big one. It's literally like one of the biggest haul yet probably on this channel <laughs> so because of all the restocking we have to do so be on the lookout for that don't forget to like comment share and subscribe yeah so basically subscribe if you want to see more like large family lifestyle and fun family content um i'm trying to put that in a i'm trying to make that narrow that down so it makes sense but on this channel we share all things large family like the things that we do how we do things and I want to get in more into that I want to share more of how I function as a mom of five and just how we function as a big family and also we'd love to share fun things as well because we are a fun family we like to do fun things we love to laugh and that's a big part of us so I think it's really and you know nice to be able to share that aspect as well so subscribe if you guys want to see more of that and until next time See you in the next one, y'all. Bye. Hey.